You're locked into the NFL on E. All right, Coach. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League. The bye weeks are over. It's all about football all the time as we're underway here in week 13. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This Let's will go. be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So out comes its offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by their 5'11 quarterback from Wisconsin by way of NC State, and that's Russell Wilson. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard. Fundamentals, footwork, finding the right targets. The bottom line, how do they get a win? And for this offensive unit that we'll see here in just a second, T.J. Yeldon is certainly someone to mention. Came out of Alabama with a lot of attention, but earned it. This guy is better and better at a lighter weight. Shifty back who can finish with power. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or are asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole, third and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. Open man is Winfrey. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. What we hear so often, how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. They'll call it a punt of 44 yards. The return was for seven. And out will come the offense as they take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And trotting out there, their tall quarterbacks, Dana gets 6'5". And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just gonna say. That's, that's where I go. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's a second and seven. Going down the middle and it's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move go, on. Go. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll set up to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. A gain of six there on first. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete second and four throwing right and that's complete a gain of 13 it's a first down I got you. I got you. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, look now at our starting defense. They come into this one ranked number five in the NFL against the run. Now if they could just get their pass defense in line, this unit would be really, really strong. And remember the conversation with the defensive coordinator? He wants them to rush the passer better. He wants to see the quarterback on the ground. They've got to create some sacks. And he said it starts early and often. We'll see if they can get to him. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. The first carry now for the BYU man, it's Jamal Williams. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. No score after one on EA Sports. there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense so they're backed up to the three yard line second and goal second and three to the goal line but it's incomplete Cooper was the target there but now it's third and goal He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Josh Allen in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Third and goal, they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Gold on now to try the field goal. And in his 15th season, he's able to get this one to go. And it's 3-0 here in the second quarter. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? This will be fielded at the six. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. <laughs> Completes it to Benjamin. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Wilson now to throw on third down. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. But they're certainly being aggressive here. It's like being a, a sprinter in a 100-meter dash, exploding out of the blocks, trying to push the ball downfield. Guaranteed this defense better be on their toes. They're going to be tested all game. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. 
So here are visitors to take over on offense. And still a lot of football to be played in this season. We're only in November. A lot can happen between now and January. But if it ended today, they would just be on the outside of the playoff picture looking in. So a lot to fight for. Yeah, and wasn't it interesting in our meeting with, with the coaching staff that they all made sure to let us know we know where we are right now, but the playoffs don't start tomorrow. We still got some time, and they plan on putting it together, formulating a streak, get the whole month of December still left to play. They think they can get in. And they made it very obvious to us that there's no playoff talk in the locker room right now. It's win this game and look to next week. Excellent focus. A gain of 13. It's a first down. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Wide open receiver complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Give him 32 on the play. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there, and he puts one out there for a big-time completion. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw. That's into the hands of Pascal. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Second and one. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and 10. They'll drop the throw. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. They'll look to throw again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Second and nine now. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. A well-executed safety blitz by Tony Jefferson leads to the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now back to throw. His throw caught at about the five. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Gold is able to put it through, and they're able to double their lead just before half. It's 6-0. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis I'm trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. This is Yeldon on the dump off. 
And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Throwing is Wilson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So a couple of field goals, that's all we've been able to muster through two quarters of play. 6-0 is our count at the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. We're starting to get near the home stretch of this NFL season. It's week 13, so let's get an update on what's going on. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done, they're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield, and he's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Ready, ready. And on third down, ready, a nickel ready. formation here defensively. <laughs> on play action, they'll throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. I guess that answers the question of whether or not they're going to try to play conservative and protect this lead in the third quarter. And I think this is something we're seeing more and more of in the NFL. Teams not playing to protect leads, teams playing to extend them. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Quick hitter here, it's complete. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. 70, Indy. And he'll give it here to his running back. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll look to throw here. And he checks this one down to Williams. What hallmark of good defenses? It's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. 
That would have been from way downtown. Pretty big roll of the dice, and he comes up a bit short. Yeah, you knew when you saw the holder setting up on the other side of the 50 <laughs> that this was going to be a long shot. But to me, there's really no loss here because you've shown confidence in him, kicking it from a long distance. That'll pay dividends. And the miss, you can shake that one off. It wasn't likely to make it in the first place. So they tried the 59-yarder and missed it, and now this offense starts just one yard shy of midfield. They go play action here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Timmy Jernigan with a sack. And that'll be marked down as their first sack of the game. Well, they had six last week, and this offense did its homework, didn't it? Because they saw all that pressure, and they really worked hard to tamp it down and beat it back, and they did a great job in the first half. But now they've gotten their first sack here in the second half. Look out, they'll try to increase the pressure. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Wilson now off the bootleg. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. It's a gain of 35. It's your first drive of the second half. You're down on the scoreboard. Maybe just say to yourself, let's take a shot, see if we can shake them up. And boy, they hit that one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Wilson. A fight for the football and it's intercepted. Desmond King picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense. He rifles one that's intercepted. Carlton Davis picks it. And it's a touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Extra point attempt to follow here. And that one puts them on top here in the third. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 50 plant. They stay on the ground this time. It's Williams. Set. 10 2 
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Hard throw, incomplete. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They go play action now. Wilson in trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Calais Campbell in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Well, there was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Jaron Reed. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Here's Logan Cook now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. And this will be taken at the 13. It's a 69-yard punt. 69 yards, wow. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. So here are visitors to take over on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So the defense helping him out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, you'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? They'll set up a throw. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now the second down throw on target. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now left side on the swing pass. And that play will go nowhere, losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there. 43 yards. I guess it did. And it's caught. Touchdown from eight yards out. And his guys are going to retake the lead. 
Wow, I know it's a never say never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's gonna finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you gotta rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they wanna make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And there's gonna be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. get an extra look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count and he will get into the end zone for the two points and that helps that gives him a seven point lead and so they run it in on the two point try and it's so often Charles we talk about from the offense's perspective what you do on the two point conversion how about the defense how do they play run versus pass it's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass that's what they see most teams do and so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it very difficult I think what you're seeing a lot more now people blitzing the two point conversion they want you to make a quick decision and make it right now there the offense wins the battle for two so Russell Wilson in the offense, down by seven, a minute seven remaining. A four straight defeat looming on the horizon, barring a comeback here as they got it with a first down. All day, all day, every day, any day. Now Wilson, he's going to find Gallup here complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight, leaves him with two to go on second down. He's back to throw. He goes underneath for Yeldon. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. He'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds hey, hey, left. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. And they'll indeed take a knee. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors, and they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football all the way up through, and they closed them out with a big time performance.